to give her a chance if there was some small chance that she might be able to wake up. I had already explained to the family that the likelihood of that happening was incredibly small. Um, and over the last two days, she's progressed to the point that today she's lost all of her neurologic function. So when we do her bedside test to check if her brain is functioning at all, uh, there, we, I didn't see any evidence for any life. And so then our final job uh, before we say that she's no longer with us is to do something called an apnea test. The apnea... Yeah. So what happened? And so the... We, you want is to she still so living or not? She's not. She's not still living? She's not. So we did this apnea test and it suggested to Okay, us, can I... You want to get off work in about uh, a half an hour? No. He no, he already, he we in the conference it. room right now with the whole family. We just okay. got you on speaker. Okay. And so she's still, she's still in the ICU and uh, she's on the ventilator, her heart is pumping, but uh, I wanted to convene the family to let everybody know that she wasn't with us anymore. And that the time was at 5. 16. PM. 5. 16. He, I think he's gone. Yeah. He couldn't take it. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, he's gone? Yeah. 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 He's, gone. he's in Texas. Um, when y'all found out she was gone, we took her back there for the brain operation or uh, look at it? No, just here. At yes, now. At the bed. Yeah. Just, just here, yes. No, 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 no. So I do it. So we do a test at the bedside. Right. And we let the carbon dioxide level, so just like you and I breathe, right? But oxygen goes in, carbon dioxide goes out. Really? The carbon dioxide levels, when it rises, is supposed to trigger our brain to breathe. But if your brain doesn't 